Wendy Freeney asks, Running Gravel, too. what can be done to help to change bad habits? You want to go first or me? I'm gonna let you go first on All this right. one because this is a hard. This is the hardest question yet. Because it's because it's running and you think running stupid. No, it's not so, habits and habits are like right there with nutrition. So, so so here's the thing: to change any habit, whether it's psychologically, whether it's in your training, whether it's in your relationship, you have to start with one piece. The problem with running and really swimming, for that matter, cycling isn't as bad. But running and swimming, there are so many pieces that just kind of waterfall down to the other pieces. So you need to pick the piece that is the easiest that you can do without thinking about and that you can put into place as an actual habit every single run. When that piece feels better or you think you've mastered it, move to the next piece. The problem is there's so many, as they say, and my wife loves this saying, there's so many moving parts with running and swimming that you start messing with this piece and then this piece gets out of whack. And then you get mad because guess what? You've slowed down. Right. And so you just got to have patience with running form. Uh, I actually, shameless plug here, have a four part uh, run form breakdown series on our YouTube channel that uh, I don't think I've done as many plugs in my entire life, but might as well. We got the content out there. So, uh, but there's a four part series where I start at the ankles and feet because I think that's one of the most important parts of run form that most people don't talk about. But check out those videos on our YouTube channel. Um, but you got to pick one thing and be consistent with it and be smart with it and be calculated and move through the process and then go, okay, this one I feel is, is better. What's next? But, but, but be mindful that in some of your stuff you're trying to correct, you're looking for, you're looking to change two degrees of flexion. You can't really see that with the human eye when you're running, right? You got to have video software and all this other stuff. So just be patient with yourself. Find the stuff that's actually taking the energy from you. And that's the stuff you should address first and foremost. Are you rocking side to side? Are you twisting? Things that are not forward progressive movement. You need to take those things and address them very first. But pick one of those and move with it. Mike, go ahead. Yeah, I I agree with pretty much everything you said. I'm just going to make some additions. Do it. Pick one thing at a time. Be really patient. Don't don't expect a habit to change. You know, there's all these people that say you can change a habit in 21 days. Um, that's kind of crap. Give yourself more time than that. Um, and then be empathetic towards yourself. Because because if it's a habit, that means you've been doing it for a long time. And you're probably going to backslide a little bit on something, whether it's a nutrition lot, or learning yeah. form or, um, or anything. Be empathetic towards yourself. Be, be kind to yourself. Don't beat yourself up verbally because you had one bad day where you revisited that habit. It, it happens. 